Wheelie Cardiac has been a part of the new wave for a long time, for like since 2016, 17. Uh, one of my pe- one of my favorite rappers, personal favorite rappers. Um, yeah, we're making this video because of the the post that we did uh, yesterday about the new Willie Cardiac snippet surfaced online, um, and the comments were shocking. Um, I don't wanna lie. So uh, the snippet was was shot by uh, Not Benjamin at his event. Uh, I think it's Not Benjamin and Friends event that happened over the weekend, and yeah, this is the snippet. So this snippet is a new song Willy Cardiac hasn't dropped. I think it was an unreleased. I think you went there to actually like perform an unreleased which is dope, you know. Uh <laughs> I mean, like the people, the people who weren't expecting that. You can see from the crowd response. I mean, I was shocked. I was like, "Yo, dog, is this really good performing?" I think like, are we? I, I, like, Willie's performance always go crazy. If you know Willie's performance, always go crazy. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, in the comments, people are just like uh, comparing him to Playboy Cardi. People are like, "Nah, this guy is trying so hard to be a Playboy Cardi." Um, I don't know. How do you guys feel? Like. Like, do you guys think he's trying to be a Playboy Cardi, or is this also his his um, his type of style? Chicago, Chicago, Chicago. Now, to understand why Willy Cardiac is like this, you have to understand the new wave. The new wave came in an era where hip hop, South African hip hop was at its peak and there was a lot of gatekeepers and then the kids were like, fuck this shit, I'm gonna use the internet to actually push my music. The sound platform was SoundCloud, literally everybody was SoundCloud, bro. I remember like listening to music on SoundCloud was like, yo, shit, like music on SoundCloud was the shit. And but mainly Patrick Lee, Willie Cardiac, J Molly, the T House, uh, uh, boys, uh, was Treehouse a family tree? No, yeah, Treehouse, Treehouse, um, they came up with that sound, uh, they, they came up through that, and yeah, they were, they were big around 2018, 2019, um, 2019 days. Uh, you have to now start imagining what would a mature sound sound like? You have to evolve with sound. In SA, to survive in the music industry, you have to evolve with sound. Now, what would a mature 21-year-old Willy Cardiac sound like in 2021 in an era where Amapiano is the leading genre in South Africa? And the result is... I know I love y'all so fucking much. Chicago! <laughs> I miss you, motherfuckers! Not too much. Not too much. You know what, here's my say. The new wave has been running for a long time and it's pretty clear now and evident that it was just what it is. It was just the wave, it came, and then now it's slowly starting to fade out. You know what I'm saying, right? This sound is not gonna fly as much as it would have in 2016. And now we're moving into a new era. There's more piano. There's the likes of Dali Wonga, Young Stan are coming in, and they're coming in with the, uh, with the, uh, with the vocals, with the um, Vanek vocals. Um, you know what I'm saying? A sound that caters for South African people. Majority of South African people understand their language. You know what I'm saying? And they want to vibe with their own language. If you're gonna bring something that's too foreign, I don't think it's gonna fly. In, in 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 south africa as much as it would it, it would have in 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 in, in other countries hey man i don't know do you guys think that willie cardiac should keep on doing hip-hop or he should jump ship and do what's trending the latest shit uh i'm a piano <laughs>